Is Lauren Hauregi Cuban? Yes, she is. Hey, what's up? I'm Lauren Hauregi, and I'm about to find out what you asked about me. My mom was born in, in Cuba, and she came over when she was like three years old, and then my dad was born in Miami, but both of their parents are all from Cuba, so all four grandparents, my grandma and grandpa on my mom's side are from Matanzas, and my grandma and grandpa from my dad's side are from Havana. Okay, so is Lauren Haregi vegan? It's funny you ask that. Uh, you should go watch my mind massage video. That's the sound you're gonna get from the bacon. <laughs> I think that'll answer your question. But um, no, I like to be as plant-based as possible because it does help with my health. But I love meat. If she had one thing she regretted past or present, what was it? If she can say it. And what would you have done to change it? I regret nothing. Now as an independent artist, which independent artist would you like to collab with? I would love to collab with Tanasha. I feel like we would make a bad bitch anthem. Um, Russ is a good friend of mine. I'd love to collab. I'm, I have a collab with him already. And then I would also love to collaborate with Victoria Monet. I love Vic. She's so talented. And Snow the product. I have a lot of Bijo people. I tried to say bitches and people at the same time, and you got Bicho. <laughs> Google, does Lauren Jauregui speak Spanish? Si. Y al español, muy bien. <laughs> no, si, en serio. Puedo hablar español, me puedes hablar en español, te entiendo, puedo hablar contigo, tener conversación, puedo ir para cualquier lado y puedo hablar español. And if you didn't understand that, stop talking shit. How would you describe the process of creating Prelude? My, my catchphrase for this whole entire project is I'm in my introspective bag. Like, <laughs> that's, that's where I'm at. Um, that's how I would describe it. It's just been a very, like, cathartic process just to be able to find the words to say what I feel. If you could pick just one song of yours to listen every day forever, which would it be? Either 50 Feet or Scattered. I can listen to 50 Feet on route. Like sometimes, not to be a narcissist or anything, but sometimes when I'm in my car and I'm just like in that kind of mood, I play 50 Feet on repeat and it just kind of plays as I drive. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> if you could give your younger self some advice, what would it be? Relájate, mami. Relax. Chill, breathe. Yes, everything seems like it's the end of the world, but tis not. Here we are at 25 and we're still alive. And we're doing what we love. So like, just relax into the flow of life. Google, did Lauren Haragi finish high school? Eh, technically. I did technically finish high school. My mom is a teacher and she was very adamant about my academic life my whole life. I literally had like an academic scholarship and financial aid to go to school that I went to. Like I um, was very, very heavily academic. So I always thought that I was gonna, you know, my dream was graduate high school and get a scholarship to college and then keep going, right? And then I auditioned obviously when I was 16 and I just, we started working pretty much immediately after the show and going to the live shows, I just couldn't handle the schoolwork. So I had to drop out of high school in junior year uh, from the school I was in. And then my mom will kill me if I don't tell you guys this. I graduated from homeschooling with a homeschooling degree, not a GED is what she she likes to reiterate that. But ain't nothing wrong if you have your GED. Get, get it the way you gotta get it if you need it. But you also don't need it. <laughs> I need to know how you take care of your hair, please. All this hair of mine is a little mane here. Um, thank you for pointing it out. Uh, anyone who does hair branding stuff, like fucking call me. But beyond that, there's this place in LA called Blow Me Away Organics. And it's like this scalp rejuvenation place. It's a Japanese salon. They're amazing and they clear your scalp up and they make sure, because scalp health is the most important part of it all, really, at the end of the day, you know? Fermented rice water really helps. I learned that on somewhere on TikTok or from one of those videos. It really helps though, it does work. Um, and I don't wash my hair too often. Like I wash it like every like three, four days. Um, 
and I cut it every once in a while. But for the most part, I literally don't brush it sometimes. Like, it's really bad. Like right now, does it look brushed to you? Does it look brushed? The answer's no. Where is Lauren Haregi from? I'm from Miami. I was born and raised in Miami, Florida. 305, but I had 786. We exist too. Shout out to 786, area code. Google, how tall is Lauren Haregi in feet? In feet, particularly. Um, I am five foot. I, I go by five four. What color are Lauren Haregi's eyes? I don't know, Google, you tell me. Google, what does Lauren Haregi call her fans? Jesus, this is a really, this is a good one. This is a really good one, actually. Originally, they were called Jaguars, right? If I don't mention that, they'll get upset. So, originally, they were called Jaguars, and I was like 16, and some random person after my audition was like, oh my god, I'm a fan of yours. What should I call myself? And I was like, what? You're a fan of mine? What the fuck? And I was just very confused. So Jaguars was what I gave them. And then I didn't like that anymore because there's a, well, there's a team named after that. So I chose to go with Coven, the Coven. They're my Coven, right? I just am also a witch in my own right. And so I thought it would be cute because we make magic together. My fans and I, you know, they're my Coven. And I'm head witch. American Horror Story inspired as well a little bit. Um, but like, so I just, I feel like it might be insulting to a group of folks now, so I just, you're my fans. You're my angels, I love you. Call yourselves what the fuck you want. I don't care anymore. En tres palabras, mis fans en lo en el coven, oh wow. They are faithful, they are loyal, they are present and they've stayed present even when I wasn't giving them music. I really love y'all. What is something you wish people better understood about you? I wish people understood that I'm really like, I'm full on like an artist. Like I really write my shit. I really like am in the production of everything. I have the visual content in my brain and I really am like an intimate part of bringing everything to life. But I think people do know that too. I just, I wish like the grander public understood that. How important is the support of family, friends, and fans to her? Oh my God, it's everything. It's everything. Like I said, I'm a Cancer, so I'm like a very family-oriented, very homebody, very um, about my roots and my people. And my friends, <clears throat> my family are so supportive, so, so supportive, and I've always been throughout my whole life. And my fans are like, obviously next level again. Like they've stuck by me and supported me through so much and I couldn't be more grateful. We're ending on a note of gratitude, I love it. All right, thank you guys so much for your questions. I hope you guys learned a little bit about me. If you didn't know me already, or if you already did, like, thanks for being here. I love you.